In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of life, eternity cannot hold you, nor can our little words catch the magnificence of your kindness. And yet, in the space of our small hearts and in silence, you can come close and repair us. Grant us your forgiveness now, for our selfish thoughts, for our thoughtless deeds, for our empty speech, and for the words with which we have wounded others. Grant us your forgiveness, for our false desires, for our hateful actions, for our wastefulness and for all we have left untended. Scatter the sin from our souls as of the mist from the hills. Begin what we say and redeem who we are. For in you we place our hope, our great hope, our living hope, this day and evermore, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, our Maker, Maker of colour and sound, of texture and quietness, and the restless beauty in living things, we praise you. God, our Maker, Maker of granite, and mustard seed, of grey cloud and starlight, of earthquake and heartbeat. We praise you. God our Maker, Maker of all that is unseen, of all that has been, of all that words could never capture. We praise you. God our Maker, Fathering history, mothering creation, parenting Earth's peoples. We praise you. 
God our Maker, we, the children of your love, the creatures of your kindness, the guardians of your creation, we praise you. Your decrees are wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. With open mouth I pant, because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your custom toward those who love your name. Keep my steps steady according to your promise, and never let iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because your law is not kept. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast, that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down and put the goods into baskets but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire where they, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Where nations budget for war, while Jesus says, put away your sword and love your enemy. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where countries waste food and pollute water, while Jesus says, I was hungry and you did not feed me. Your kingdom come your will be done. Where governments proclaim that their policies are heaven-blessed, while scripture states that God helps the helpless, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where women who speak up for their dignity are treated with scorn, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where men try to be tough because they are afraid to be tender, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where we, obsessed with being adult, forget to become like little children, 
your kingdom come, your will be done. Where innocent people flee their homelands, seeking refuge and dignity, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where our prayers falter, and our faith weakens, and our light grows dim, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where we keep people from your table and are choosy with our hospitality, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where we think too highly of ourselves, or where we think too little, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where your church is not welcoming to strangers, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where Jesus calls us to follow him, but we are afraid of the cost, your kingdom come, your will be done. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May God sustain you in all your works, and guide you in all your ways. Make you humble, just, and true. Strengthen you in holiness and righteousness, and fill your homes with love and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you, and with all the peoples of the world, tonight and for evermore. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh.